All right. So we've got a little question here. Not a question. It's more of a. I'm not sure what it is. What do you think it is? It says one thousand. This is on Tumblr. Ask Darren on Tumblr. Got over twenty-four thousand. I need some Tumblr questions. So if we get back to you, it's a good day. Um, one thousand percent. Your change from TFF to Bike Fest inspired me. Already high carb, ultra full vegan, etc. But have been saving up for a bike for a while. More motivation to work harder, smarter, and make it at the festival in 2017. Fuck anyone who prats on about being unfair or too selective. If people want to be there, then they will. If this is the life they want to live, then they will live it, and they'll be at the festival. Hope, good on you for sorting it out, the winners and the, the, the winners from the winners. That's a good one. Good on you for sorting out the winners from the winners. Are you going to be a trainer or a motherfucking complainer? We don't want complainers. We want motherfucking trainers. Someone said, uh, the only guys, you only want like high level cyclists who've been riding for five years. Like, what the fuck? That's never was said. We want people who can fix a flat tire, who commute on their bike or ride their bike and have a, you know, can actually fix a flat tire and ride up a hill, you know? So that's a good start. This is for everyone's safety, man. The first year we, it was a lot less because on the first year, 2014, we had like, you know, as often like in the end, it was like ten people come up the mountain. Ten people, a group of ten people is pretty easy to manage. Last year it was like getting more and more, and this year the festival has just grown so much, and we're just like, man, this is this is getting full on, you know. And then all the shit went down. I'm like, oh fuck, thank, thank fuck, we got to like just clear it up. And so we made it more overtly bicycle festival, even though that's always the way. I mean, look. <laughs> I'm fucking almost 39. I've never had a motherfucking driving license, ever. Ever. Yeah, I sit in the car now and then, but I've never, ever had a driver's license. Tips say, I'm, I'm like, you know, I've followed you for ages, and oh my God, you're strange, you're still bite. Like, it always has been, man. Even at Woodstock Fruit Festival, I was only there to lead the, the primarily there for the bike courses and the bike rides every day. And the people who hang out with me the most were those people who ask me cycling questions. That's my passion. Same with Freely. She's a cyclist. We are the two biggest cyclists on social media. I've got over like 22,000 followers on Strava or whatever. You know, like it's, that's our life, man, is cycling and motherfucking carbs. And for someone to go, oh, I was, I was just going to go to Thailand and, and like, oh, I'm really disappointed now. <laughs> like, what the fuck were you going to do? Were you going to be one of those people that I make fun of at my Q&A for sitting in the back of a taxi to go to the fruit market? We're, we're going to be one of those people that I make fun of at the Q&A for having like fucking 20 plastic bags per day and 50 different straws per week, you know? We're going to be one of those people that I make fun of. Like, that's no fun. We're going to be one of those people that make fun of who come all the way to Thailand, eat heaps of greasy, salty food, catch a taxi, turn from the restaurant and complain that they gain weight and feel fat and shit. Like, are you going to be one of those people? Are you going to be a complainer or a trainer? So that is why we up the ante. You just have to do that. Like, you... It's like anything in life, man. You have to fucking... If the cord's broken, you have to fix the design. You can't just keep putting out shitty cords and having more shit cunts turn up and go, this cord's is shit. You have to upgrade. You have to update in life. It's called having high standards. And I encourage everybody, you always have to update everything you do all the time to make it better. It's like the, what's that Chinese, uh, Japanese word... Kenzai or Sai Ken or whatever it is. Anyway, it means never-ending improvement. And that's what I live. That's what we are about. Never-ending improvement. It's not about being perfect. It's about improving little bit by little bit. Because perfection is the lowest state, really. That's impossible to have. You can never have perfection. Because life's always changing. What you can have is daily improvement. A little bit by little bit, little by little bit. And it quickly becomes a filter in your life. Like when I said, I'm going to get off drugs... People are like, oh, you know, drugs, like, what? What do you mean, mate? You know, you sold drugs last year. Like, what do you know? You got, you know? And people fucking like, ah, people were complaining, you know? And I was like, oh, gee, maybe I, maybe I should stay on drugs. Whatever you do in life, if you step left or right, good or bad, some motherfucker's going to critique you. So you have to come back into your heart and go, this is my motherfucking life. Is this the right thing to do? It's always the motherfucking right thing. It's always the motherfucking right time to do the right thing. All right, so where's the right time to do the right time? So where's the right time to do the right thing? You know what I'm trying to say. You all, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a cult. We are trying to create a cult. Not a fucking negative cult, a positive cult where motherfuckers 
have challenges in their life and they go, what the fuck am I going to do? Am I going to sit down and be a motherfucking complaining, whinging, self-entitled vegan who bashes other vegans to try and get some hits on the internet? Or am I going to be a responsible, ethical, moral, fit motherfucking vegan, healthy motherfucking vegan, vegan with a motherfucking sense of humor, vegan getting it done? So we're trying to change the identity of what people think of vegans. So many, you got to so many vegan groups, Facebook, they were just fucking whine, I feel blood, I don't feel this way, I want fucking... And we don't want that. We want to change that. The best thing you can do for drain bows, the best thing you can do for downers, the best thing you can do for flakes is not be a flake, a downer, or a drain bow. That's the best thing you can do for them. The best thing you can do for shit cunts is not be one. All right? You have to... We, we have the biggest social media platform. We are the two most famous vegans on the planet, on social media. We've created this YouTube community. We've made YouTube a place where vegans can go to and get information, either from us or from other people. We have created that single-handedly. Nobody's worked hard and put up more consistent videos than we have, especially me, banging it out. My moral is if you can remember the video you put up yesterday, you don't upload enough videos. You're just not uploading enough videos. I can't even remember what I put up yesterday. Someone said I've done 40, 45 or 46 videos this week. I don't even know. Just bang out more content. Give. Live to give. If you're not serving people who want to serve themselves and make the world a better place for everyone, including animals, then you're on the wrong path. Cycling, everyone needs to ride a bike. If you can physically ride a bike, you should. We have a fucking traffic crisis out there. I live near a, a road. I can hear cars. I want to hear bikes, man. I want to hear gears crunching. I want to hear cunts breathing hard, racing each other. I want to hear cunts shouting, Strava! That's what I want to hear. You need to ride a bike, all right? I don't want the bike. Well, then be a shit cunt stuck in traffic, creating more traffic. Cars hold up traffic. Cyclists don't hold up traffic. When I ride my bike into town, cars hold me up, you know? So if you're wanting to lose weight and get fit, then you have to have a bike. And I can bat my head, beat my head against the wall trying to convince people who don't want to be convinced, but I'm just sick of that. People write me an email. Harley, you know, blah, 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 convince me why this, why, why you, blah, blah, blah. and I'm, like, convince me, and I'll just write back, I can't, click, send, you know, they just fucking does their head, and they fucking lose it, and that's, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, then, 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 once you get a certain level of following, you get people sort of coming in to your little space, and they might come to your talks, so or your potluck, and, and they might be asked a smart ass question at the back, or whatever, and I've got a sense of humor, so I can deal with that, but I would rather, Ignore those people and give my time to the people who are legit, the trainers versus the complainers. So that's why we putting up uh, these filters, these barriers, these walls to keep the shit cunts diverted and the people who want it in. It's like a nightclub, man. We don't have a dress code. We have a motherfucking attitude code. Simple as that. If you're a shit cunt, rainbow, self-entitled, flaky fuck, Go to hang on the beaches in southern Thailand. That's what people go, oh, do not have to travel, I'm going to Thailand, like, I'm going to Thailand to complain at your event versus train at your event, and, and I'm feeling pretty shit about that. <laughs> go like, okay, still come to Thailand. Thailand's an awesome place, man, awesome people, it's wicked. Don't come to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is a shithole if you're not a cyclist. It's like traffic and busy and hot, and go to the beaches, man. Go, the, the, go to the beaches down south. They go to Koh Samui or Koh Phang Yang. You know, do some, you know, do some yoga course on the beach or something like that. You know, like just do all that stuff, man. You drive around no helmet on the motorbikes and fucking put yourself in ICU. Because helmets don't work. All that sort of stuff. Don't, uh, still come to Thailand. I'm not saying don't come to Thailand. I'm just saying that why come to our event? Because it's cycling focused. The Q and A is going to be cycling focused as well, and we have the Q and A at, at the top of the hill this year just to make it even harder for people to attend. And we don't want people, we don't want traffic. We don't want people driving cars to come to our event up the hill. This is for cyclists. You earn it. You sweat it. You earn it. You get it. So go there. Go come to Thailand by all means. Enjoy your places. Great vegan foods. Great fruit. Great massages. And my tip would be you won't enjoy yourself in Chiang Mai. It's just, it's shit without a bike. It's like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if someone paid me literally $500,000 and they said, Harley, you have to live in Chiang Mai the next year and the only condition is you cannot ride a bicycle. I'd be like, I would rather, no, no, no deal. I would rather have my bicycle than half a million US dollars to be in Chiang Mai for one year. 100%, 100%. If someone said to me, Harley, you can't have a bike 
for 10 years, but you can have $10 million and a Lamborghini. I'm like, no deal, no fucking deal. Because money doesn't mean as much to me as the buy school culture does, the freedom. Just so we're clear on that. Not many people could tell you that. They're like, oh, you're fucking, you're wah, wah, wah. and they're the people that don't get it. And if you don't get it, why come along? You just, you just, you're an energy vampire. You're a drain. You just want to make money off people. You just want to come to the network and go, you know, support my fucking Patreon account or give me money or all this or that. That's not what our community is about. That's your community. You create that. Whatever you do, whatever the fuck you want to do. But stop trying to come in and be a shit cunts. That's not what we're about, man. We're about free stuff, giving, man. Smashing out videos, doing talks, free stuff. Doing it, man. Everyone's going to make a buck. Everyone's going to sell something. But my philosophy is 99% of your time should be donated. All right? 99% of your time should be donated. And that's I walk my motherfucking talk with that.